Have you ever wondered why the summer heat feels unbearable in India, even if the temperature doesn't seem that high? Well, let's delve into the intriguing concept of a heat wave. A heat wave, as defined by meteorologists, is a prolonged period of excessively hot weather, which may be accompanied by high humidity. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Indian summers often feel hotter than they actually are. Why, you ask? The answer lies in the high level of humidity. The moisture in the air makes our bodies feel warmer, a phenomenon that's commonly referred to as the feels-like temperature. It's this feels-like temperature that makes you feel as if you're walking in an oven, even though the thermometer might tell you otherwise. So, the next time you find yourself sweating profusely, it's not just the heat, it's the heat wave. Now that we understand what a heat wave is, how severe is the situation in India? Let's delve into the facts and figures. Over the past decade, India has seen an alarming rise in the frequency and severity of heat waves. The Indian Meteorological Department reports that the number of heat wave days has nearly doubled in the last 10 years. The situation is so dire that the World Meteorological Organization has classified heat waves as the third largest natural threat in India, right after floods and storms. The effects of these heat waves are far-reaching and devastating. Let's talk about public health first. Every year, thousands of people are affected by heat-related illnesses such as heat stroke and dehydration. The death toll due to heat waves has been in the thousands, particularly in vulnerable populations such as the elderly and those with pre-existing health conditions. Moving on to agriculture, a sector that employs nearly half of India's workforce. The scorching heat dries up water sources and withers crops. This has led to decreased agricultural productivity, threatening food security and the livelihoods of millions of farmers. The economy too bears the brunt of this heat. A study by the International Labour Organization estimates that by 2030, India could lose the equivalent of up to 40 million full-time jobs due to heat stress. This is not just a future prediction. The economic impact of heat waves is already being felt with decreased productivity in sectors such as construction and manufacturing. The severity of heat waves varies across regions. Northern plains such as Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh and central India including Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra are among the regions that are hit hardest. Coastal regions are not spared either, with cities like Chennai and Mumbai experiencing severe heat waves. As you can see, heat waves are not just a discomfort, they are a serious issue that affects millions of people and their livelihoods. So, what have we learned about heat waves in India today? Well, let's recap the highlights. We've understood that a heat wave is not just a hot day, but a prolonged period of excessively hot weather, which is often accompanied by high humidity. We've also delved into why it feels hotter in India. It's due to a combination of geographical location, urban heat islands, and climate change. The frequency and severity of these heat waves are on the rise, and this isn't just uncomfortable. It's dangerous. Heat waves have a serious impact on public health, leading to heat strokes and even fatalities. They also wreak havoc on agriculture, leading to crop failure and food shortages. And let's not forget the economy. Businesses suffer when people are too hot to work or shop. The next time you complain about the heat, remember, it's not just the weather, it's a heat wave. So, what can we do about this escalating heat wave problem in India? Well, firstly, we can start by taking care of ourselves and our loved ones. Simple actions can make a big difference. Stay hydrated, folks. Drink plenty of water throughout the day, even if you don't feel thirsty. Try to avoid going out during peak sun hours, typically between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. If it's unavoidable, be sure to wear protective clothing, hats, light and loose-fitting attire, and don't forget the sunscreen. But we can't stop there. It's crucial for us to push for broader societal and governmental action, advocate for heat action plans, support tree planting initiatives and encourage energy efficient practices. These are just a few ways we can collectively work to mitigate the effects of these heat waves. Remember, every action counts. Together, we can make a difference. Let's cool down our future 
one step at a time.